Prior to configuring the transmitter, it is necessary to have the required information relative to the displacer being used. The required data is displacer length, displacer diameter, and displacer weight. In this demonstration, we are using a displacer with a length of 356 millimeters, a diameter of 60.45 millimeters, and a weight of 1.805 kilograms. Before performing the calibration function of the following procedure, be sure that the displacer element is at an empty tank condition. Okay, once you have connected to the transmitter using Pactware, open up the parameterization tab and go right to the selection labeled displacer. First thing we do is enter our displacer length, which in this demonstration is 356 millimeters. We enter the displacer diameter, which is 60.45. We enter the weight of the displacer, which for this specific demonstration is 1.805 kilograms. <clears throat> we enter our liquid density under lower density. Uh, in this case it's water so it's 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. The upper density is for the uh, density of air which for all intensive purposes is zero. <clears throat> then lastly, we enter the suspension length, uh, which is the length of the chain connecting the displacer to the transmitter. Once all the data has been entered, click on Apply in the lower right-hand corner. The information gets downloaded to the transmitter. Our next step would be to go to the overview of the process and observe what the actual PV value is. You will see that right now the PV is indicating 10.5% of span. And at this point our tank is empty. So what we want to do is simply zero out the transmitter. So go to the calibration selection, click on user re-zero, and a window will open up, looking like this. Click the continue button, then select where it says zero special and click continue again. Then click where it says do offset. Once that has completed, click continue. Then click continue once more and then select the overview and you will notice now that the measurement is at zero percent. At this point the device is ready to go into operation.